One thing you might also want to do with your main menu is add some simple animations. So we're just going to take a brief look at how to do this. So once again, I've got Goda open. Let's go back to our main menu. So just scroll down to find the main menu scene and then double click and let's get this open. So here's our main menu and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and animate this little character. Just going to do three things. So we're going to use the move, we're going to use the scale and we're going to use the rotate. So once again, let's select the main menu and then hit the plus button. Now, if we just type in animation, and the one we're looking for is the one that says animation player. So let's just double click on the animation player. Now, what that's done is it's obviously created us a new node, but it's also opened up the animation timeline. So let's just set up a couple of things. So the first thing we need to set up is the root node for this animation. So the root node for our animation is going to be this little player, which is player one front. So then press OK. Then you want to set up your current animation. Now, currently there's only stop. So what we need to do is create our first animation. So with the animation player selected, we're going to come down here, we're going to press the button that says animation, and we're going to press the word new. And we can just call this something like um, new animation one, it's absolutely fine. Once we have that, it sets up the timeline. So then we can come back to where it says current animation, and we can choose our new animation from that. Now over in this window, that's pretty much all we need to do. So the next thing we're going to focus in on is actually making it. So I want to make a four second animation. So we're just going to click over here with the clock and just change it to four seconds. And you'll notice that this gray bar is now over this four second timeline. The other thing I want to do is make sure it loops. So I'm just going to click on the loop button. Now from here, we want to select the character and we're going to come down. So if you don't see this inside of the character's properties, which is this node here, you can come down to where it says transform. We have our three transforms. So position is basically moving. Rotation is obviously rotation. And then we have scale. So these are the ones we're going to do. So I'm going to pull it back. Well, actual fact, zero, position zero is where it wants to be now. So what we want to do is just create a new keyframe on zero. So we're just going to hit this key. And it's going to say, do you want to create a new line? And we're going to say, yep. Yeah. So now we have our position set. So this is the initial position that we're going to be on. So if I move the playhead forward um, one second, and then we're just going to move the character using these dials here. We can also do it here. So once we move the character, we can then press the key button again. And now we have two keyframes. So let's move it to position two. And let's just do that one more time. So let's move the player to here and then press the key and then let's move it to this point here and once again we're going to want something like that and then we're going to press the key again and then for our final position we're just going to want to probably have it back in the original place so hopefully that's going to be there so let's just key that in so now we have our our simple animation just moving around in some kind of circle so let's just save that and see what it looks like so save all scenes and let's just press play and just make sure it works and make sure it loops so currently it doesn't loop so we've obviously forgotten something here so the button that we've forgotten is this auto play button so let's turn the auto play button on. We have the loop button on. We've got our simple animation. So let's just play it one more time. See what happens. There we go. We've got our little character moving around in a very simple circle and it's on loop. So the next thing we want to do is add another track. Um, and this time it's going to be for scale. So we're back on position zero. We have our animation on. Now we just want to make sure we select the character come back down to the transforms and we're, this time we're going to look at, z, at scale so we want to start by just keying in the initial position and it's going to ask us if we want to create a new track we say yes so now you have position and scale and then we're going to move our playhead forward and at this point I'm just going to type in the number so I'm going to say 2 and 2 and you have to enter in both numbers otherwise you get a disproportionate scale and then I'm just going to key that one in and then we're going to move the playhead forward again and this time I'm going to say 4 by 4 and once again we're going to key that in so we're just going to press that key icon 
and then we're going to move to this one and at this point I'm going to say let's just say 2 by 2 so that when we get to the next position we can just bring it back to 1 there we go and we just key that in at 1 so let's just check what that looks like so let's go scene save all scenes and let's just press play and let's see what that looks so far and there we go we've got a nice simple animation playing so the final part then and once again let's click on the animation player to bring up this timeline and the final part is we're just going to rotate so once we've got that up let's just click on our man again come down to transforms and we're going to do the rotation so bring the playhead all the way back to zero and let's just key that initial position fantastic and let's move it forward and we're just going to do a really small rotation on this one so maybe just a little tilt and then press the key button to key it in then move it forward again and let's just tilt it the other way this time let's go to the minus numbers and don't forget to key it in and then we're going to do a big one this time so let's just kind of go all the way over don't forget to key it in and then finally we're just going to bring it back to its original position um, so those are our three things if you want to test it you can obviously and let's just press save all scenes let's test it one more time and I think we're done okay and there you go and that's how you create an animation for your main menu